Hello Squiddles and welcome to PPM6 TV. Today what it is is the Zoom F6. Now recently I made a video called why I think the Zoom F6 needs a firmware upgrade and I put it up and uh, then I had a very interesting and accurate uh, comment from Zlatko which pointed out my facts were not all in a line and so I took the video down and so this is my second attempt which is why I still think the Zoom F6 uh, needs a firmware upgrade. And um, the reason is to do with the way that the front panel pots, um, encoders, uh, deal with the trim, the input gain to the mixer. However, there's also some issues um, around uh, the way the display and the, and the interface works, the UI interface works there, um, in comparison with the, um, the F4. And that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to um, have a look at this compared to the way the F4 works, um, and also have a quick look at the uh, circuit diagrams of the F6 to actually show you in detail where the problem arises in my book. So um, let's dive straight in with the diagrams. Here we see the setup for linear recording in either 16-bit or 24-bit. And the first thing to notice is that the input trim, the input gain on the far top left, um, is not connected to um, the fader controls at all. In fact, the fader controls are after that whole block of input processing and actually only affect the mixed feed, the left and right mix, and not in any way the signal going to the record tracks. So if an input is over deviating at your, one of your track inputs and you reach out and turn the gain down, all you're doing is um, affecting the contribution from that channel to the mixed output and not the level that you're actually trying to um, uh, adjust in the track recording. That's the bad news. But there's better news when you select 32-bit float as your recording format. Here's the 32-bit float diagram and now we can see that those all-important track 1 to 6 faders are connected by a dotted line through to the input record level. Now, a little note of caution here, that is record level, that isn't input trim because in this mode the Zoom has two ADCs working together and uh, doesn't let you fiddle with what you might call trim in our more traditional linear formats. However, um, this 32-bit uh, format gives you two options. One is a reference level option where you set a reference level before you start recording and then um, you can't adjust it while you're recording or you can go to rec level and that will allow you to make dynamic adjustments to the recording level as you go along. Let's see how that works in practice. So here we are looking down at the top plate of the Zoom F6 and I've got a mic uh, plugged in to channel 1. Now when I reach out and uh, take a hold of the uh, encoder for channel 1 and make some adjustments you'll notice a couple of things. One is that the gain of the mic goes up obviously but also that the gain of the left right mix and consequently the line output also goes up. And um, that's because I'm in the 32-bit uh, float setting. And as we've seen, that allows us to make adjustments to the record level. And the record level then feeds into both the individual track record level and the mixed output. Now, to access that setting, uh, we need the input menu at the top there. And uh, once we've selected that, we'll see at the bottom uh, a track knob options. And uh, going down there, we'll then see the two available options, one of which is reference level and the other is record level. And you'll remember those from the diagram. Reference level is set and then once you hit record, um, it stays the same and the record level allows you to make dynamic adjustments as you're recording. That's a situation then when you're recording in 32-bit float format. However, when you change to a linear format, either 16-bit or 24-bit, uh, that track knob control option is no longer available to uh, adjust the record level. And so when you adjust the fader, what you're actually doing is controlling the level going to the mix, not to the record track, as you can see here. Reaching out and taking hold of the encoder on channel 1 and turning it down certainly reduces the volume to the left-right mix and to the line output, but what you're recording on tape, your track volume, remains unaffected. Firmware upgrade, please. I'm going to close with a look at the Zoom F4 and see how that handles the situation. But before we do that, um, just a quick reminder of how you do change the input gain um, in 24-bit or 16-bit linear mode. Well, you hit um, menu and then you go to input 
and then you go to PFL and you select the input you want. Well, I want input one at this point. So then you go in there and then you come down to um, trim gain and then you select that. You still can't go to the pot. You go up and down on here and then say OK. And that's the job done. But it's hardly um, the nimblest uh, workflow. Uh, let's have a look at how the F4 does it. So here we are uh, at the top plate of the Zoom F4. I have a mic plugged into input one, just as I had on the F6. And uh, you can't see me, but I'm adjusting the input control. So I turn it all the way down and you can see that the track volume um, goes down to zero, as do the mixed outputs, main and sub. And I turn it up again and um, it's uh, it, it will re restore in the level. Now, that's basically in input trim mode. And if I adjust the... Um, uh, multifunction selector, which is great because you can also click, uh, depress it to click. You can see up here that my encoders are set to trim. And um, if I select it with a press of the encoder, I can now change that to a fader. And you'll notice that um, the display changes and um, uh, the, 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 the fader setting, of course, can be independent of um, trim. So if I, if I um, go back now to... Um, having selected that, if I go back to my uh, meters view and I turn the gain down, well, all I've done is, like on the F6, the gain of the um, mixed output has gone down, but the track volume is not affected at all. But on the uh, F4, you have this instant access to uh, the two different options, um, which is, um, you know, a, a, a fantastic opportunity. So that's why I think it would be handy if the... Um, if Zoom could um, apply that to both the linear mode and the 32-bit mode on um, the F6, although I, I hear your argument if you say, well, it's enough that it's on the 32-bit mode, but having access to that uh, changeability of the encoders and things so directly from the, from the front panel would be better rather than having to dive into the menus. Thank you for um, uh, enjoying, I hope, uh, PPM 60V. Thank you to Zlatko for a very, very uh, well-observed point. Uh, do come back soon. Um, I hope you've had fun. Bye for now.